Welcome to today's live stream. I'm super excited to welcome you here today. Before we get started and get into the really for real live, this is obviously a pre-recorded video where I can tell you a couple things and then we can get started. So uh, honestly what I'm doing is buying myself time to turn the camera on and make sure that everything sounds good. But uh, while we do that, while we wait for myself, let's go ahead and comment below. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Maybe let's start with your name and where you're watching from. And then also I'd love to hear about uh, maybe the latest project you're working on or your favorite software. So if you can post a link below, go ahead and post a link to your portfolio. We'd love to check it out and see what you're up to. And maybe even let us know what your favorite uh, software is or maybe your favorite subject. Do you like web design or print design or making t-shirts or logos or branding? I don't know. Go ahead and comment below and let us know. We'd love to check it out. And then also, if you'd love to see what I'm up to, you can check out my work at DerekMitchell.com. You can see some YouTube videos at YouTube.com slash Derek Mitchell. And then also live streaming at Behance.net slash Mitchell's Garage. So you can check me out there. And then did I say Instagram? I don't know if I said Instagram yet or not. Instagram.com slash D Mitchell Design. So hopefully there's links and buttons and stuff here, right there. Uh, anyway, all right, guys, we're about to dive into some really cool stuff. Uh, feel free to comment in the thread, and I'd love to, again, see what you're up to, and I'll try and answer your questions as we get going, but let's go ahead and dive in. Today's video is sponsored by the Graphic Design Bootcamp. If you're looking at becoming a graphic designer and you wanna learn more about Photoshop, Illustrator and InDesign, creating real world projects that clients would actually pay you for, for things like logos, business cards, letterhead, and much more. Check out the link below for more information and a deep discount to get started today. Today's video is sponsored by the Graphic Design Bootcamp. If you're looking at becoming a graphic designer and you wanna learn more about Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign, creating real world projects that clients would actually pay you for, for things like logos, business cards, letterhead, and much more, check out the link below for more information and a deep discount to get started today.
All right. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the live stream. Super pumped to welcome you here. And unfortunately, we're having some streaming difficulties with the chat. So if you're here, uh, I wish you could say hi, but depending on where you're watching from, the chat is not working. Uh, I think it's working over on YouTube. If you go to youtube.com slash Derek Mitchell, you'll be able to check that out. Uh, or over on Facebook and our Facebook group, facebook.com slash groups slash complete graphic design. So I could also what now? Text or chat how? <laughs> uh, I got my wife uh, over here on the side hanging out, uh, checking the chat roll over there on YouTube. So she's saying you can text her how? How can we do this? Should I give me your phone number? Hey, somebody from, uh, hey, it's working. I see you. Generino, <laughs> what's going on? That's a blast from the past. Good to see you over in the chat. Uh, hope you're doing well. Are you still over in Hawaii? Is it Hawaii? It's been a long time. Uh, hope you're doing well. Um, we are streaming primarily over on Adobe uh, at Behance, actually Behance.net. Okay, so what we're going to do tonight is we're going to be playing with some logo design stuff. So if you can chat and you want to jump in over on uh, Facebook or YouTube, we'd love to see you. Looks like I, I can't see you guys over on B hands right now, which is a super bummer. Uh, I actually restarted the stream to try and get that to pull up and it's just not working tonight. So we're flying a little bit blind. If you're here on B hands, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just dive in and get started though here soon. So uh, back in whitefish. Hey, so we're close. Uh, I'm actually in Kalispell, Montana. So we're about 20 minutes away, 15 minutes away. Depends on how much snow is outside. Uh, all right. So, Let's go ahead and dive in. I'm going to put my headphones on. Are you good, Jen? Are you going to just hang out? All right. I'm going to go into tune out the world, get the music going. All right. So what we're going to do tonight, we are actually, uh, by we, I mean me, I'm going to be working on a logo design for a friend here. And uh, you guys know him from Moto Monday. If you've been tuning into Moto Monday, if not, check the replays. Uh, but Paul Gowan is looking for a new logo. So I had him uh, fill out my logo questionnaire. Let me pull it up real quick. I know you can't see anything yet, but let me just kind of get things fired up here. Uh, I forget what I called it. Uh, I'm, I'm logging into my website right now. So talk amongst yourselves, guys. Uh, wait, have a minute. You can check out my website at DerekMitchell.com. Uh, scroll down and you can join the newsletter if you want to stay up to date when I go live. Stay tuned for new, fresh courses, all kinds of fun stuff going on. Uh, I'm just going to pull something up real quick that I want you guys to be able to see, but I don't remember the URL for it. So on my website at DerekMitchell.com, I made a... Uh, logo design brief for my clients to fill out. So I'm just pulling it up real quick so you can see this here. All right. Uh, you guys can play with it if you want. You can check it out. I don't care. Um, let me uh, switch views here. So basically, uh, if you go to DerekMitchell.com slash logo dash brief, you'll see this logo questionnaire. So this is a questionnaire that I have my clients fill out or potential clients. Uh, basically, the easy stuff like their name, their email, their phone number, of course, and then Further down here, we get into more advanced questions, tell them to describe their product and their service, their target market, uh, the exact text that we're going to be using in the logo. Uh, that's really important. I want to know exactly what they're looking for. Uh, do we have letters in uppercase or lowercase? Does it matter? Are there spaces in between uh, certain words? Just making sure that as we design things, we're doing the exact uh you know, the exact name of the business essentially. So, uh, that's what we're doing here. And then I've got some other things. So for logo style and options, this is a tough one because, uh, depending on who they are, they may or may not know exactly what they want and they might not know, uh, what the term is. So what I might think is modern, they might think looks totally different. It might be grungy or something, right? So trying to find ways to get as much information from my customer or my client before I dive into this logo. So I had Paul go through and answer some of these questions for me. So I'm going to go ahead and use those as an example today, as we get started, I'm actually working in illustrator today. Uh, we might jump to the iPad, but for now we're going to start on the desktop. 
And this is how I started logo design. It's a blank canvas. And the first thing I do is I save it. I've already done that so I can dive in here. But basically, because we're working in Illustrator, it doesn't really matter what size you start with uh, because it's all vector scalable art. But I like to start with a piece of paper. So uh, an eight and a half by 11 uh, canvas or 11 by eight and a half, depending on how you look at it. Uh, just just a, a regular letter size piece of paper. So that way I can print things off and I kind of know about how big they are as I'm designing. So uh, that's how I start. So what we're going to do is I'm going to begin by just typing out his name, throwing some things in here and pulling in some of the assets that he sent to me, one of which is a signature logo. So uh, let me uh, move a couple things here. All right. So for his signature logo, I had him take a picture with a cell phone and just send it to me, uh, kind of drawn up uh, what he'd want it to look like if we went that direction. So kind of like actually on my website, same thing. You guys have the beginning of this thing. Uh, if I go back... Here we go. Um, so up here on the top left, similar approach where I used a Sharpie to just kind of sketch out something cool looking uh, to make kind of a, a personal logo. Something you might use for photography. If you're a photographer, this would be a great uh, way to work as well. So I'm gonna start with this. And uh, right off the bat, because this is with a newer iPhone, it's the .h, what is it, .h -e -i -c format. So if I try to drop this, just drag and drop right into Illustrator, it doesn't know what to do with it. And maybe there's an update or maybe there's something I need to do to change that in preferences. But for now, we're just going to work kind of fast. So what I'm going to do is just open this up. And if you're on a PC, you can do the print screen thing. I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to hit Command, Shift, and then the number four to get the uh, crosshairs here. I'm going to click and drag to get this started and then hit the space bar. And now what's gonna do is gonna take a screenshot. If I let go of this, it's gonna throw the file down here. Eventually I'll throw it on my desktop. But what I wanted to do, let's try that again. Command shift four to get it started. Click and drag, then space bar. Now I'm gonna hold down the control key before I let go and it'll copy it to my uh, clipboard. So now I can jump back into Illustrator and we'll paste this in here, all right. Scale it down. Man, I'm really bummed that the Behance chat is not working tonight. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, trace this. So I'll leave a copy of this up here. And let's go ahead and click up here. I've got the image selected with the uh, selection tool. And so in the control bar across the top, I can click on image trace. If you don't see that, I'm trying to think where that's at. I think it's under object, but let's just double check. Image trace under object, all the way down to image trace, and then make. So what it's gonna do is it's going to trace that image. What's up, Deco? I hope I said your name right. Uh, love from Pakistan. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, thank you, and that Skillshare comment, I appreciate that as well. Uh, I'm not sure, I've got a few courses on there. Which one are you guys going through right now? All right, so uh, I just did a live trace on this image. And now what I'm gonna do, there's a few things we could do. Because it's just black and white, this is how I want it to look, but you can also trace images and all kinds of other things as well. Uh, here's a quick example, Command Shift 4. I'm just gonna take a screenshot of these icons on my dock. Hold down Control. I'm gonna turn on an app called Visualize too, so that way you guys can see my keyboard shortcuts. All right, so I'm gonna paste this in here. So this is an image, a JPEG essentially, and I'm gonna trace that as well. So. You can see, depending on your settings, I'm gonna click on this guy. We'll come up here to the options, image trace panel, which should also be, I think it's here as well, under window, down to image trace if you don't see it, okay? So right now, my default preset, I can change this to a lot of different options here. I'll click on 16 colors, and you can even scrub this to make it more or less. The graphic designing courses, awesome. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thanks for uh, your support on Skillshare. Um, if you guys didn't know, every minute you stream on Skillshare actually helps me. It, it helps, uh, gives me a kickback. So watch all the minutes on Skillshare <laughs> that you can. Um, all right. So as I scrub these colors up and down, what this is doing is adding more or less colors into the trace. If I want to make it really lo-fi looking, I can scrub this all the way down to like four colors. All right, this is actually handy if you're trying to do a, uh, a t-shirt and you're trying to do a screen print, you're trying to limit the color so it doesn't cost a lot of money. Uh, you can do that to your artwork too. You can scrub it down and just limit it and see what it'll look like. So I'm gonna scrub this back up 
And right now, technically, it's still, it's not editable. It just, it's still the image just with the tracing effect. So what we want to do now is expand this. So I'm going to come up here to the options and I'll click expand. And now you can see it blows apart all kinds of anchor points down here. So if I wanted to zoom in, it's, it's not, it's not bad, but now all of this is vector. So I could scale in and just keep scaling in and you can see, uh, it's now vector images, super cool stuff. Command shift G to ungroup. I have to do that a couple times. Anyway, I'm not going to mess around with this too much. It was more so just to show you the tracing technique. Command G to group it. Command X to cut it. Let's just delete all these. So now I've got the music icon in vector <laughs> traced out, just in case you're wondering how to do that. Uh, anyway, that's not at all what I set out to teach you guys. So we're just going to delete it. Let's come back up here to this uh, logo. So basically he just used a Sharpie on a piece of white printer paper, took a picture with his phone and then uh, texted it to me. So that's how I got this in here. And uh, it's currently a black and white trace right here. So let's see. Yeah, uh, we'll do black and white logo. And what that should do, I click expand. I'm gonna uh, drag this off of the canvas so you can see. So it has both black and white in this, and I just want the text. So if I use my direct selection tool and click in here and we're to drag away, you can see it, it kind of, it's, it's weird, right? It, it gets kind of all has both the black and the white represented. So what we're going to do, there's a few ways we can work because I don't have anything else on my canvas yet. If I had a bunch of other stuff, I would do something different. Uh, but because I haven't started anything, what I can do is get my direct selection tool and click right in here. I'm going to come down to select, same, fill, and stroke. So now it's going to grab anything that's white, whether it's a stroke or a fill. And then I could just delete it if I wanted to, or I could change the color or whatever. It's just a selection. So now uh, it's still selected. I could change the colors, like I said, or just hit delete, and it's gone. And now I'm left with just the black shapes here. Now, one thing I would do, let's just pretend that had a couple of these on here. All right. Or, or maybe a couple pieces of artwork that had the same color. It could be totally different. Maybe it's a rectangle, you know, or other artwork that has that. Okay. So let's say I'm just trying to work with this guy here and I get my direct selection tool to get this started and I go to select same fill and stroke. Well, it's going to grab everything and I don't want to delete everything over here. Let's just pretend like I'm only trying to work on this guy here. So what I would do to get around that, I'd highlight the whole thing that I'm trying to work with, hit command X to cut it and clip it to my, or copy it to my uh, clipboard at the same time, hit command N to make a new document. And I don't really care what size it is. I'm just using this as a way to only select that. I'll click create. So now I've got two documents here. I've got the one that I'm working in and this new one, that's just going to be a place for me to drop this in real quick and then select it. Select same fill and stroke and then delete all of the white excess that we didn't want. Okay. So now when I highlight all of this, you can see in my, um, move my screen around a little bit here for you. All right. Uh, so now you can see that all of this is just one color, right? So you'd want it to be just one color if it was a logo, cause you want to be able to click quickly, click <laughs> quickly, click, say that faster. Um, uh, on the color swatch and change it. And if you were to send this to press or send this to an apparel manufacturer, you want to know that it's just one color as you're working on this. All right. So I'm going to hit command G to group this all together. Cause I have this little dot up here that was kind of hanging out by itself. And I don't really care what color it is. I'm going to copy it. Command C. We'll jump back over here, back to the uh, first document and we'll paste it in. All right. And then I was using it as a, Using these as an example, I don't need them. I'll delete it. All right. And I know I'm flying tonight, guys. I know I've got a shorter stream. Um, I can't be here for super long, so I'm trying to just cram it all in. I apologize if it's too fast, but the good news is the replay will be up. So if I'm going too fast for you now, if you're already like, whoa, we haven't even done anything yet and you're just too fast, um, you can rewatch the replay. I'll slow down here in a minute, but you can also rewatch it. 
Uh, and you should be able to change the playback speed down below. So you should be able to play it back at half speed, or maybe you're just a pro and you want to go even faster. You can watch it back at two X and speed me up. So uh, pro tip down there. I appreciate that. Uh, no problem. Deco says from Pakistan. I love that. I love that the internet connects us from all over the world. Uh, and even in my backyard, uh, Generino up in whitefish. All right, so we've got this signature logo here. I'm just gonna switch it back to uh, black for now. Or maybe we'll do like, um, like a dark gray or something. Okay, so we've got that. That's one look. Uh, are you making a YouTube video right now as well? I am. Uh, I'm actually streaming through Restream over on Behance. Um, and unfortunately the chat's not live over there tonight. So if you want to jump in and chat, I am checking the chat from Facebook and YouTube. If you want to engage with that with me tonight. Um, anyway, so, all right. So we're working on a logo for my friend, Paul. Uh, I, I said, Hey, we should try like a signature logo and, um, Oh, you know what I should do? Hey Jen, can you get me a Sharpie or a piece of, I've got a Sharpie. I need a piece of paper, like a plain white one. Um, oh, you know what I could do? Sorry guys. I just didn't set up my iPad to be able to do it on the iPad and share it. That would have been smart. Oh, well. Um, all right. Well, she'll get me that in a minute. Uh, so what we're going to do, I'll do a couple more signatures like this just to kind of make it a little bit different, uh, just to add some samples to it. And now what I want to do is I want to create a few text variations of this as well. So Paul is a, well, if you guys haven't seen it yet, check out Moto Mondays. It's been a lot of fun to stream with him on Mondays. Um, but he is a leadership and transformation consulting coach. Uh, he, pray not, uh, he, he mostly works with uh, CEOs uh, leading multinational corporations. I'm actually reading the form that he filled out. Um, I need to not have lines on it. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> What's that? There you go. Or I can, yeah. Uh, let me put the answer here. Thanks. Sorry. Or anything that I can isolate out at white solid. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Um, so he's he's got some new. Um, He's working on a brand new website and some brand new courses. If you want to see what he's up to, you can check it out at paulgowan.com. Um, he even gave me permission. I think this is still up. He got he gave my students a special discount on his leadership stuff and his uh, exclusive offer, uh, this confidence course. So if you go to paulgowan.com slash graphic design, um, you can check it out. This is this is real stuff. So this is his original logo, this take command with like a stencil font. And uh, a lot going on here. So we're going to come back. We're going to try and, and build a new brand, brand around, um, basically around him as a person, essentially. Um, he also likes, so on this, he's got this moon in the background. He likes the idea of the dark side of the moon and how we can't see the dark side without assistance and basically how we can't see our own blind spots. I think I'm butchering this big time. <laughs> I wish he was on the call right now. Uh, I should text him and have him jump in here. Nah, he's, he's going to go to bed. He goes to bed early. I don't want to wake him up. Um, anyway, so so what we're going to do is we're trying to build a whole new brand, but we're starting with the logo, all right? And uh, as far as looks and stuff, let me just kind of pull over some of his answers here. Uh, so target market, um, female CEOs leading multinational corporations. Uh, the exact text. Okay, so I know he doesn't want a question mark in there. I know he's leaning on me for the answer on some of this, but he wants take command to be in there. Uh, I was on a phone call, and it sounds like we're going to do a Paul Gowan logo as well. All right. And then as far as preference for logo style, he says, I don't care whatever you suggest. So those are always, sometimes they're fun, and sometimes they're really hard, depending on the, you know, if you're feeling creative or not. Uh Oh, uh, sorry to interrupt me. No worries. That, sorry, late. I didn't see your comment. Uh, don't worry. I love it when you guys interact in the chat. And that's not an interruption at all. Uh, sometimes I get distracted and I bounce all over the place. But that's why I'm here is to help you guys out. Uh, I'm just trying to make some cool stuff, but then also be available if you guys have questions and things I can help you out with. 
<laughs> Thanks. Perfect. All right. My lovely wife uh, brought me a white piece of paper so we can play with this a little bit too. All right. So I'm going to play with this because it's fun. Uh, and then maybe, we'll, oh shoot, I didn't set up that camera angle either. Here, give me, give me just two seconds and then uh, I'll be able to show you what I'm doing, I hope. What? No, I was just at this camera. All right, so what we're doing here. I uh, oh shoot, I just got a new, <laughs> I got a new desk set up here, and I didn't set up this overhead camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. That's all right. It's all right. We're having fun. Hopefully, you're having fun. It's a little scattered tonight. This is a problem. All right, let's see, let's see if this works. Uh, not so much. All right. All right, well, it's not gonna work, so that's all right. So what I'm doing right now, I'm going to just sketch out a couple more looks real quick. For Paul. I know you can't see it, which is a bummer, so I'll go fast here. All right, it's official. <laughs> I don't like any of them. <laughs> Let's just go back to what we were doing. Oh man. All right, clean, modern, sophisticated, simple, fresh, upscale, luxurious, elegant, vibrant, and corporate. All right. I'd like a green and blue to symbolize growth and serenity. I'm open for full rebranding though. All right. All right. <clears throat> Let's keep going. Let's have some fun. So where do you guys go for your fonts? Please read my comment. Did I miss it? I see your comment, Deco. Deck. I hope I said your name right, man. Um, but I thought I read all of your comments already. So anyway, so I like to go to fonts.adobe.com. Then up on the top left here, we look at some different font packs. And I love starting here, uh, getting some ideas, getting some inspiration. And then if I see something I like, I hold down the command key. It's a control key if you're on a PC. And I click on it. So that way it opens up a new tab and I can come back to it later. So as I scroll through, I just kind of look for anything that might catch my eye. Command click on it. And then I know that it opened a new tab for me to come back to later.
right. Also, guys, if you want to promote yourself in the chat, go ahead and post your portfolio links if you want to. I'm cool with that. We love checking out what you're working on. All right, all right, all right. So basically all of them. <laughs> all right, so what I'm gonna do is close this. All right. By the numbers. Kind of like this one. Mono 45. Let's see what that does. Okay, this looks awful. See, that's not bad though. If we did, that just doesn't fit his brand though. All right, we're gonna keep going, keep going. So then what I do is if I if I look through a set or a font pack and if I'm feeling inspired, then I'll go through and download like I just did. And if I'm not, I'll just close the window, command W to close it. Uh, or it's alt, what is it? Alt spacebar and C on a PC. It's been so long. I forget how to do it on a PC. I should buy a PC so I can remember how to do all that stuff. All right. Should see if Paul wants to join me live. We'll see if he bites. We'll see if he's still awake. All right, let's keep going here. Let's just keep going, keep going, keep going. Fonts are hard. I don't know about you, but I think they're hard. I have a hard time uh, sticking to a font. I feel like I have to get the bad ideas out of the way first too. I don't know about you, but I feel like, I don't know, like stuff that I just know is not gonna work, but I put it down anyway, because then I've got something to delete, right? <laughs> What's up? Shout out to Deco from Pakistan. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting. Thanks for watching my courses over at Skillshare. Uh, I really appreciate it. All right, all right, all right. Let's go back here. Oh, here's another thing that you should do. <laughs> I always forget about sample text. Let's change that real quick. Now I can quickly scroll through and I can see if any of these stick out to me as I'm scrolling without having to download everything. All right, that's a no. Command W, close the window. All right, and then what we can do here as well, see what the all caps version would look like. one looks good mr eves ot roman mrs eves my bad all right which one do you want to do
So I know he's going to like this one with the G. He likes this kind of stuff with the small caps. What's it called? Title cap? What's that called? Oh, my gosh. Uh, so we'll try that one. What else? How are these looking? Kind of feeling this one right here. All right, so we've got Roman lining. All right. Come on now. Cool. Those are probably going to be, you know what? I can just stop right there. I'm pretty sure those are going to be a good option. So let's um, just throw these over here. Just a reminder, guys, if I'm going way too slow and you want to see the end of this thing, uh, when you watch the replay, you can skip ahead. Uh, if you want to try and catch every nuance of what I'm doing, I'm using an app called Visualize to broadcast my keyboard shortcuts, and you can play the video back slower to kind of see what's going on and what I'm doing here. Hopefully that helps you a little bit if you're getting lost and wondering what's going on. If you're just tuning in, uh, maybe you don't even know who I am. My name is Derek Mitchell. I'm a creative director. Uh, I've got a lot of experience working with a lot of really cool brands, and tonight I'm actually just working on a logo for a friend. His name's Paul, and uh, he has the Take Command project. It's a really cool, uh, really cool thing he's working on here. So we're just trying to make some different ideas, some different logos for him. Anytime you track out, kern out words, they immediately feel so much more like classy and uh, elegant, simple trick. So I'm using command option and then the left arrow or the right arrow, you can see my shortcuts pop up there to, to track it out or in. If I hit command T, it'll open up my character window. And basically all I'm doing is this right here. So the tracking for the characters here, I'm just scrubbing them up and down here. So if I hit command option right or left, you can see that number jumping up and down. Got some Western stuff going on here. Okay, take command. What would Paul do? It's too small. Too small. But we're going to go with it. All right, I feel like it needs one of these. Let's see here. So to make the weight feel like it belongs right, I'm going to hit the letter M to get my rectangle tool. And I'm going to click here on the T just to make it the same thickness or at least similar. Okay. So it kind of feels like it belongs. Group them together. Shift click. Oh, okay. Something else we want to do here. I want to outline this because if I try and center this right now, I even see my, there it is. Um, if I try and center this, it might not balance it exactly. It might be a little bit off. So I like to create outlines, command shift O or come up here to type, uh, create outlines. And now instead of it being a font, it's just a shape. So I can manipulate all these points however I want to. Okay. So I'm going to click this. Shift click these. I group these two together. Okay. Highlight both of them. And then we're going to use the align option up here in the control bar across the top. To make sure it's perfect. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, when Paul watches the replay, he better know I'm his true friend here. Did he reply? Oh, my phone's in do not disturb. He's sleeping. Slacker. Oh, well. I was going to try and loop him into the broadcast, but 
Oh well, next time. All right, so we're gonna play around with some things here. I'm gonna group these. So now this is grouped together. Let's scale it down. And the way I did that, hit the letter E to get my uh, scale tool. Is the music too loud? Is it too much? It's pretty aggressive, but I like, I don't know. I like being distracted by my music, but it might be not great while I'm talking. Let me know. All right, scale it down. Letter E, get my scale tool, click on the corner. Maybe. There we go. Hold down shift so it doesn't make it all weird. Okay, and then hold down option so it scales to the center. Oh, maybe that's what we'll do. This gives me another idea. Group that as an option. We can come back and refine it later. I'm just trying to get some ideas going. I'm trying to warm up here a little bit. So this is where he put the dot, but I moved it like visually. Here, I'm gonna drop a ruler. Command R to get my ruler. R to get my rotate tool. Click in here and then I can rotate that guide. Okay, so I'm just trying to bring this kind of in line, right? So it, whatever, you get what I'm saying. I don't know what to do with this. Let's make it centered. Too centered. The good news is I don't have to be the one to make a decision on this. He does. So I can just make a bunch of crap <laughs> and then let him <laughs> tell me what's good. Oh man. Maybe I'll grab this stem here and I'll bring it down a little bit more. So to do that, um, got my direct selection tool, letter A and I just Went like that to grab these points here. Or you hit letter Q, which is my lasso tool. And then you can actually draw around exactly what you want to select, okay? And then get your direct selection tool, letter A. And then you can kind of move things around. That might be too much. Happy medium. All right, we'll leave that as a look. Uh, all right, let's play with this one again. Because I didn't outline it. And I know that he likes this style with the, what are they called? Type change case, sentence case, where it's all caps, but the first caps are bigger than the other caps. There's a name for it, and I can't remember to save my life. Ah, uh, let's see. I don't remember, guys. Oh, well. Small caps. Yeah. Small caps. Okay. Um, but I know that he likes that. It's not my favorite, personally but it kind of nods towards his current brand where he's used it like that and everything. And I know that. So I'm going to, I'm going to throw it in there. Maybe I might delete it before I send it to him. Hmm. Gosh, I just don't. Let's go back here and see if there's a better weight. not going to beat this one up too much. We're just going to leave it like that for now. All right, let's go ahead. Man, I don't hate that. I actually kind of like it. 
<laughs> Paul, I hope you're enjoying this right now. I know him. He is going to watch this whole thing and I'm going to get a phone call about it. I'm going to be disappointed if I don't. <laughs> oh man. This is what you get for not streaming with me, Paul. Probably a faster way to do this, but it's all good. Oh, that broke things. Boom. There we go. Uh, let's see. All right, so there we have another potential here. I need to think of thicken this up a little bit let's play with this as some kind of something here um a few ways to do it i'm going to object path offset path that's too much all right let's see be too much Offset path. I guess I could do a stroke. I don't need to do it this way right now. All right. Part of me warming up when I'm designing a logo is just moving things around a lot because <laughs> I really haven't achieved anything. I'm just duplicating things and it makes me feel happier about life. Um, oh, don't forget to save. You should save uh, every now and then. That's good. Thanks, Deco. All right. <clears throat> what are we going to do with this? What are we going to do with this? I like the weight of this one. It just still needs a thicker... guys out of the way. How was Typography Tuesday? This is Typography Tuesday, Facebook user. Let me know who you are. What's your name? Uh, you can give Ecamm Live permission up at the top of where you're watching this on Facebook to see your name, and then I can see who you are when I loop you in. 
Um, so for Typography Tuesday, we're building a logo, a type logo for my friend Paul. And uh, yeah, we're kind of halfway through it. It was going to be a short stream. I think my wife has given up on that. Kids are asleep though. Oh, bring Daisy. Mm -hmm. Come make an appearance. Come here, Daisy. Hold on. I need, this will help. This will help the stream a million percent, I promise. All right. <laughs> this is Daisy. Look at this thing. <laughs> All right. See, guys, I told you. I told you it was about to get good. Um, what's up, Dustin? Normally I do it earlier in the day. Yeah, today was kind of a, a random day. She, yeah, usually Daisy lays on my desk right over here off the side. And she just hangs out with me. She was over with mama, chilling. All right, you can go back. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, normally I do Typography Tuesday much earlier, but today, uh, today was one of those days where that didn't happen because everything else happened. So, All right, back to it. Here we go. I'm really liking the shape of this a lot better. I think it's going to be cool. All right. Um, Man, gosh, does it need more, you guys? My trip was awesome. A couple weeks ago, I got to go to Florida, and it was while it was like five degrees here. Last week, it was 55 below zero. 55 below zero. Um, it was like 20 or 30 below, and then with the wind chill, it was 55. It was unreal. But in Florida, where I was, it was 75 degrees, and I was sitting poolside. Uh, oh, hey, you only see me. Thanks for the heads up. Um, luckily, I wasn't doing too much. So I'm really digging this. I haven't really done much yet. Uh, basically, what I did to get started is I brought in the image that I had him do with a, with a marker, and I just had him text it to me. And then I was going to play around with it, and I started doing this, but I didn't really like how they looked, so I, I gave up on that real fast. Um. This music brings back so many memories. I used to use this on my YouTube channel. Uh, anyway, so I had him take a picture and send it to me. He texted it to me. I brought it in, and then I came in and I made a few, basically throwaway. You know, where you gotta like, you gotta start somewhere, right? So I threw some things down on the canvas, and I was like, oh, I hate all of these, but you gotta start somewhere. We traced it. We traced this out uh, using the image trace filter, and we're kind of sitting here now. This is the direction we're going. So. Um, I don't know. I feel like it needs more time. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll work for about 45 minutes to two hours, somewhere in there. And then I walk away. I go mow the lawn. I go do play with the kids or something. Go play with the drums, go do something creative or physical, whether it's working out or shovel the driveway or mow the lawn or whatever. Uh, obviously not in the winter. Um, and then I come back to it with fresh eyes and I look at it and I go, oh, okay. For example, this one feels a little too thick here for me. I don't think it quite works. And then this one feels just about right. Goldilocks here, right? All right. So um, typically what I would do is I would probably make three or four more different, completely different versions um, because, because this is what you do, right? Uh, unless you're Paul Rand and you do it in one, one take for $150,000. Um, Trajan Pro would look good. Um, he uses a stencil font right now. I hesitate. I hesitate to use anything, not that that's default, but that's super close. Let's put this tiptoe in the fine line there. Um, I, I like making my logos just a little bit different to where somebody couldn't just type it out. Uh, and in this case, it totally could. All I did was I just spaced out the letters. So, I mean, maybe I would go in here and kind of play with the spacing and just kind of nudge it around a little bit. Like for example, this O, this is actually a great example here. Um, and we're gonna use the touch type tool so I'm in the character window. If you don't see that, go to window, down to character, somewhere. No, it's under type now. They moved it. 
uh, type. Drawing a blank, guys. Was it in the other window? Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, what the heck? Now I gotta know. What in the world? Type character. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Okay. Under window, all the way down here. Scrolly, scrolly, under type. There's the character window. Okay. So now that you found the character window, or just hit Command T, is your shortcut, you'll see this guy. And now what we're gonna do is click on the touch type tool, which is my favorite, because I can click on a font without having to outline it or like guess where I want it. And I can use the arrow keys now to nudge this in place. So I can just use my eyeballs to visualize like what looks right without, um, you know, cause visually the way the O is kind of, kind of nesting in here. Uh, I just wanted to bring that space together just a little bit. Uh, I don't know. That's maybe overkill. This A, A and a T, all, all the A is another great letter where you can kind of just nudge it in a little bit, especially when it's sitting next to a T just to make the spacing feel right. So uh, that's the touch type tool. You can do a lot more with it. I can click on this and I can actually rotate stuff and just move it wherever I want. And what's cool about it is it's non-destructive. All of those changes happened right here in the window, like all of like the rotation and all this kind of stuff. Let's undo that before I get too far. So basically it rotated this, right? And it just did it by visually touching uh, the, hand, the control handles here. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Gosh, uh, you'd use a zero for the O to set it apart. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. Are you still talking about Trajan Pro? You're talking about like right now, I just continue to make it different. All right. Um, there's that. There's that. Does it look right or did I go too far? All right. Good enough. Good enough for this. Good enough for this one. Paul, if you're watching this, I don't mean good enough for your logo because I don't care about it. I meant for this look, I don't want to beat it up too much. All right, just for you, Dustin, I'm going to throw a zero in here. No, you're fired. You're immediately fired. That doesn't work. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right, so here's what we're going to do. Typically, I would make a lot more looks, but I'm actually digging this, and I just kind of want to go from here. So um, <coughs> we're going to leave this like this. For a second and we're going to start playing so again save your work what i did there uh shift o to get my dur my uh what is this the artboard tool and then i hovered over here over the word artboard which if you want to change that word up here in your control bar you can make it whatever you want so we could call this uh artboard or rough looks or whatever you want let's call it artboard that works for me. Shift O. Now I'm going to hold down the option key, click and drag, and then hold down shift to snap it in line. And uh, is this the one I want? Yeah. Okay. So this selection up here in the control bar, you can turn on and off to bring the artwork with you or just to bring the canvas size, but no artwork. It's up to you. It doesn't matter. Uh, but I have it selected so I can copy everything over. And now that I've got a clone or a copy of all that, I'll delete the stuff I don't want right now. Uh, let's do I will do this one I'm gonna leave this up here so I have an option to go back to the font but now I'm gonna create outlines for this command shift O so now everything is an outline command G to group it make sure we're still grouped zero sucks I agree Deco and I are on the same page, Dustin. I don't know what you were thinking, man. <laughs> um, all right, let's, let's, uh, so I can see right now I've got two different colors happening here. I've got a lot of stuff happening here. Let's go ahead and double click the drill in here. Ah, do I want to do.
I'm just screwing around with something real quick. Uh, I don't like the color, but we're gonna we're gonna leave that as an idea to jump off from later. I'm just gonna throw it up here. So I saw that kind of that stroke with it. Um, okay, colors are hard for me. Uh, so is typography. Actually, graphic design is really tough. I should probably do something else with my life. What do you think, Jen? Is it too late for me to switch careers? What? I don't know. Music. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. All right. So I'm going to get my rectangle tool, letter M. And I could do a couple things. I could just, with my snapping and guides turned on, just kind of drag something close here, whatever feels right. Or if you want to be really precise about it, knowing that I'm using a eight and a half by 11, so it's 11 inches wide, so cut that in half would be 5.5. I'm gonna click once in here with my rectangle tool. So the width, if I made it 5.5 inches, if we doubled that, right, I'd make it 11. And the height is still eight and a half inches tall, okay? I'll click okay, and now I know that this is exactly half. It cuts us right in half. And uh, with my move tool selected, the object selected, I can align this here. All right, let's play with some colors. Colors go a long ways in making things look fun right away. And uh, working on Paul's stuff in the past, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try a couple working with his same color scheme. So I'm gonna go to window, down to library. And uh, I know I have his library in here somewhere. Can't remember if it's under Paul or take command. There it is. There it is. He's got these bright jewel tones and stuff. So we're going to kind of work with that. I'm going to bring this over here just so I can use it as a way to align. Oh, that looks so bad. So by bad, I mean the it's bright. It's vibrating my eyes. All I'm using this for is just to align it. Okay. So when you go to do an alignment, um, you, you maybe already know this, but if you don't, this is a handy tip, uh, tip or trick or whatever you want to call it. So, all right, select two objects, shift click. You know that, all right? Now without touching anything else, then you select whatever you want to be the key object. So if I click one more time on this rectangle, it's difficult to see with these colors right now. Um, so I'll click on this logo. It's really, really tough to see, but you'll see whichever one I select, the selection gets thicker. And that's telling you that's the key object. So now if I want this, um, the logo, the script to align to this box, I'll click just on this box, right? They're still both selected, but I'm saying this is my key object. Now I can use my alignment tools. And if you don't see them in here, go to window down to align and uh, you'll see them all here as well. And then you can choose whether to align them to the selection, which is what we just did, or to a key object, which is how you would select which one's the key or align to the artboard. So maybe you want them to move together to line up with the artboard. That's how you do it. Uh, all right, uh, Deca said, I worked on mock-up making for graphic designing. It's pretty hard, it takes an hour. What kind of mock-ups were you doing? Uh, all right, let's see. Cool, all right, let's get rid of this thing. We don't need it. I'm gonna drag a copy over here, option drag. Command shift, right bracket to throw it to the front. Coffee packets, nice. Um, so the so you watched is that did you watch my packaging design on Skillshare? Did that help? All right. So I should probably clean these up when I expanded this, this these extra shapes. I kind of don't mind that it gives me the option to do something like this, where it's stroked. Um, so I might come back to it. Cool, awesome, I'm glad that helped. Um, had you, Deco, had you used uh, 
Adobe, what's the one, Arrow before? All right. Um, let's see, let's see. Just an idea, just just goofing. All right, let's line these up a little bit. Click, shift click, and then letting go of shift, just clicking on this rectangle behind it so I can use that to align my logo. Center and center. That's awesome. Have you actually made some sales on Adobe stock? Um, I haven't actually submitted anything to Adobe stock yet. I've thought about it. I've never done it. Uh, I taught how to do, I mean, how to make stuff for it, but I don't teach about how to actually like go through the process of getting, um, getting approved and getting it dropped in there. Oh, not distracted. So I'm going to cheat. I'm just going to draw a rectangle from here to here. Grab all three of these and then click once on this guy. So I have something to align it to. There we go. Group those two and then we're going to change this to align to the artboard. There we go. Ah, all right. Ooh, that's bright. Ooh. So if I planned ahead, I could name these artboards something. Uh, I don't even know what I'd name it right now. I'm, I'm kind of focused, but uh, whatever I named it, um, what would I name this? I don't know, details or comp one or version one or version two or whatever. As I clone these artboards, that name would come with it. Um, because then when it's all said and done and I have all these artboards, I could come up here and go to file, go to export, export as, click on use artboards, make this a JPEG, and then do all of these or do a range. Like that very first one, I probably wouldn't export. So I could say like uh, two through, I don't know, one, three, six, seven, two through seven click export and then it's going to smash out all of these at one shot with the name added to it, which is really a fast way to work. Um, <laughs> an hour and eight minutes in. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, yeah. 
I guess you can't see each other's comments depending on where you're watching from, so I'll post it. He says, one hour and eight minute into the stream, so much hard work has been done for only a logo. Yeah, and, and, and typically I wouldn't jump right into playing with color, but I kind of want to show you guys just some ideas. Because the problem is when you start playing with color, it changes things so fast uh, for good or for bad. Like, for example, if I made this, I don't know, some terrible color, it, it immediately flavors the logo and it's hard to see the logo for the shape that it is. Uh, so honestly, before I would send this, let's just do this. This is, this is more like what I would send. I'm going to, I'm kind of going backwards with it here. Uh, that's what happens when I stream. Um, <laughs> I get, I get distracted and we kind of jump around, but that's all right. Also, I want you guys to pay attention to this. Vectors are basically free, right? Uh, how big, where's, I don't even remember where I saved this file. I got to find this file. Um, <laughs> how big is this file? We're only 6.5 megabytes right now, you guys. This is smaller than a photo on your iPhone. And we have this many, th this this much, uh, crap. Oh, that's the old stream. <laughs> you shouldn't show your stream keys on this. Uh, <laughs> luckily, that was the old one that broke. Uh, so it's changed. Uh, what file formats do I export out for raster and vector graphics from Blacklight Andrew? Um, so I have, let me, let me pull something up real quick. Let me see if it's turned on. I use um, this app called, uh, what's it called? Text Expander. Text Expander. All right, so now it's running. And with Text Expander, there we go. Okay, cool. So with Text Expander, what you can do, I can just type in logo, L-L-O-G-O -O with two L's because I don't usually spell logo with two L's. And it knows that's the shortcut I mean to type out all this stuff. Um, so I don't even know where it's at. It's up here. You can create, there's HTML and CSS snippets. So if I were to type in comma BR, it would throw in a line break code. Um, if I wanted to throw in like a head title and meta, I could hit comma head like this. And then it automatically expands all of this and I can generate HTML and stuff. Anyway, total super tangent, sorry guys. So what I did though, is I created this shortcut that then whenever I deliver a logo to a client and I go to type it up in the email, I just type in LLOGO and then it pastes all this in there. So this is typically what I send to a client in the final stage of logo design, what formats. So I use the fonts depending on if it's something that I've licensed for them and I bought like five licenses if it's from, um, oh, is it not what the font, what, where do I buy the fonts from? I can't even think of it right now because I've been using Adobe font so much. So typically, typically with Adobe fonts, um, if you're using the creative cloud, if, <clears throat> if they need the font, uh, usually we'll send it to, you know, like, like the printer will have that kind of stuff. If they need it in house, we'll purchase it or whatever, but I usually include the fonts if it's licensed then I can. Okay. The EPS encapsulated postscript. It's a vector file that works with just about any, uh, any, um, design software and it's vector. It's scalable. You can grab all the anchor points and scale it up. So I send them that I send them an illustrator file, the original, original editable vector files. Hey, there's Paul. I'm going to let him in. Uh, assign, I think I'm using this. Let me see if I did this right. I might have to change <gasps> my man, dude, dude. Welcome to the stream. Jen and I were texting and <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> talking about some of the colors and it's just like, oh, oh. <laughs> well, I wasn't done yet. Right. I was telling them this is exactly why we don't use color yet. Because your client's going to yeah. see it and they're going to be like, oh my gosh, either they love it or they hate it, but they're not right. paying attention to how it actually really looks. But look, you're wearing a pink wow. shirt. Look at me. Look at, it. I is. nailed it. Woo! I nailed it. Look at that. What did you say? That I was probably wearing pink? No, I went into your library from your other stuff and oh, I'm pretty yeah. sure I'm in trouble. I have noise canceling headphones on and I still heard my wife go honey or something like that. Oh my gosh. 
because I'm too loud. I, I get really excited. The kids are in bed. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's so awesome. She's sending me new greens to take a look at. Yeah, I'm I'm totally down for just like whatever colors. I don't know. So I wasn't. I was just about to hit that that turbo speed. I was just. <laughs> I I thought you were being bed, your old man. I know. I know. We. Uh, so I I love watching sailing videos. I, we're gonna go sail around the world someday. So Val and I were just unwinding, watching a sailing video, and then I like scroll down. And I saw you were live, and I'm like, oh, oh logo time. <laughs> and were you surprised? Hey, uh, yeah, yeah. It, I mean, it looks so great. I, I really yes, like, um, I, I'm looking over at my paused uh, screen. Yeah, I was here. watching it on Apple TV, so I couldn't see the comments or anything. Yeah. Behance chat's not working tonight. Uh, it was broken oh, no. yesterday. And then this morning they said, hey, it's back up. Uh, but apparently it's still, down again? still broke for me. So bummer. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Deco. Who else? Good uh, vibes. Yeah. Uh, we are Comunidad. Christana Christiana Bethel. Bethel. Is that like the Community Christian Church of Bethlehem? I don't know. They need a logo. Yeah. Um. All right. All right. All right. All right. So, dude, let me let me get my stream set up. Thanks for jumping in. I don't know how long you have. Yeah. Uh, we'll hang out for a bit. Do, do you have questions? Yeah, I can hang out. I just wanted to jump on and. Uh, Jenna Jenna said she just texted me a bunch of stuff and Paul. Yeah, she just sent a whole oh, you bunch have... of colors. <laughs> that color psychology. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's oh, a lot. I had my chats pulled up, but they got buried behind a window, so I didn't see any of this coming in. It's um, all good in the hood. All good in the hood. All right, so we got some colors. I'm going to drag it from Messenger just straight up in here. So my original green, I captured right. from a, a leaf. Yeah. And then my original blue, I captured from the sky. Okay. And then the orange was the one third away from those other two colors. Um, got it. I'm trying to add your camera while I'm streaming, while I have, let's see if we're going to make your computer this. blow up right now. I hope so. Oh, Deco. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is Derek Mitchell. He's such a legend. Uh, um, what? He's like, it's 60, it's 76 minutes now for you only. Yeah. <laughs> he loves me long time. Love you long time. All right. I need to add an overlay. I need to add a camera. All right. So there's that. I need to add Paul. He needs to be guest one. Yeah, Boom. Just to, there he is. Hey, look at that. Woo! There, there you are. Uh, I'm, I'm in the middle of the palette there. You're just, <laughs> I'm my own there artboard. You go. You're on your own artboard. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, boom. I love that I'm working in gray and pink. And did you change for me? No. This is that what, is what you're today. wearing? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. All right. All right. All right. So now they can see me. They can see you. They can see the artboard. Okay. So this Jenna sent me some stuff. Color psychology. All kinds of. I'm just going to throw this in here. All right. But we're, we're getting ahead of ourselves here. Because what I really want to show you. And I'm, I'm stoked you're here. And I'm also like, dang it, I was going to send it to him and surprise him. Um, oh, I'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. Lies. Here, All right. I'm going to I'm gonna make this kind of a gray scale. All right. So here's here's my idea based on your signature. Headed this direction. We might need to. Yeah. We might need to tighten it up a little bit. But I really like what I did. I took your original image that we brought in here. Okay. And I traced it. So it's kind of thin. So I played with some different thicknesses, thought about this yeah. as an icon or something, kind of played right. with some different fonts, had to get the garbage out of the way, right? Had to kind of throw in the random stuff that is an obvious yeah. no-go, okay? Okay. Um, and then as I was playing with it, I kind of liked the way that when I was making it thicker, it added a stroke. I was like, oh, that maybe could be something. So I left it, Yeah. yeah. okay? Kind of work in, work in progress here. That's where we tuned in. Was yeah. When you were starting to put the rectangles in there and align everything. And Cool. Yeah. So, so looking at this on gray, because that's, oh, I'm trying to look at where you are on screen. Okay. I'm actually, I really like the direction of this. I don't know what you, how you feel about it. Yeah. Um, no, the, Val immediately said she likes the gray. Cool. Yeah. And, so. and what's, if we, if we stay grays, maybe your logo goes gray. Uh, because then your photos, you, your photo, right. I know you have some great photos of you can, right. can speak to that. And, and we can work in some stuff as we go. 
Um, Absolutely. But, but typically, like like it, this shape for you, I think is going to work really good. Whether it's um, this might be this top one might be a little too thin. If it was going to be like, let's say you're going to print out like a vinyl uh, pro cut sticker on your water bottle or something. Sure. I think sure. it might be a little too, it'll, it'll work, but I, I feel like this would be better. Um, is and we there, can play with is options. there a Goldilocks like in the middle there? This, this one is the middle. I did one that was even thicker and it was too much. Oh. Um, and we can play with that. And, yeah. um, I was watching the thing today on YouTube and this guy was talking about how, and it was such a good reminder. Cause you forget that you can have more than one logo. It can, it yeah. can be built to go together, but you can have a version for small and a version for big and a version that's stacked and a version that's horizontal. Yeah. Um, yeah. so hello, Facebook user. What's up? If you uh, click on the top, give Ecamm live permission, click we can that, see who you are. Click on that yeah. little link right up yeah. there. Um, so yeah, I'm dig. I'm, I love this. I told them, I don't know if you saw it. I tried, I was going to do some signature stuff and I did like three oh, and yeah. I was like, Nope, forget it. I don't even want to oh. go there. His is so much better. So, I like it. I'm, I'm really happy with it. Something I'm seeing now as I'm looking at this, I like, so the baseline of this, it kind of goes up a little bit and I like the action it of does. that. It does. Yeah, um, it does. I might, here, I'm just going to play with this over here. I got to give a shout out to my madre, my mama. Is your mom uh, watching? No, but um, when she was a kid, she learned calligraphy. And even when she was learning cursive, she had to balance a quarter on her hand as she was riding what to keep yeah it was extreme i mean it was like north central montana in the 50s what uh and uh and she told me like always take a lot of pride in your signature paul oh and, that's so good uh, i always have and and my handwriting might be really messy when i take notes but i always slow down when i when i sign something that's awesome so my grandma was a calligrapher and oh, she used cool. to do the the awards for the high school. She'd sign all their names by hand. And yeah. so I've got actually a box in the garage. She actually passed away. And I've got a box of all of her stuff. Um, and I, yeah. those are some of my best memories. And that's why I've, probably part of the reason why I got into art is that every time I go to grandma's house, it was either yeah. that grandma would teach me calligraphy or the other grandma would teach me painting. So it was like. Oh, I love it. <laughs> like that's how I got into this, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so little things as I'm kind of buttoning up details, like this tiny little guy in here, I might just delete that uh, sure. as I zoom out. So that way there's not weird cuts in like a vinyl. Uh, but what yeah. I'm doing now, what I'm playing with, I like the angle that this gives it, uh, I, I, the, 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 how it just feels dynamic and active, but yeah. I'm going to ground it a little bit. So I'm going to click on this, hit the letter R to get my rotate tool. I'm going to click right down here. I'm gonna come way up here to the top right and um, I'm gonna click and just kind of slowly bring this down to the baseline. And uh, you can't see it because it's behind Paul's head here, but I'm gonna scoot this here, over. I'll try and, I'll try and get out of the way. So, there we go. So that N is dropping down. So there's a couple things. I could bring it down to that. That's one possibility and it kind of, you can't see it all at the same time. I guess I could zoom out. Um, that's one way, or I could bring it down. So this, it's almost too far though. And, uh, but what I was thinking is it kind of gives a natural little pocket for this to go inside of. I don't know. Oh, sure. Uh, what if you made the center of mass instead of the G, make it at the O. Do you see how there's kind of more of a straight line under the O W I? So make the pivot point, the base of the O. Okay. And then rotate that that puppy and see if, see what happens. Kind of like that. Does that, does that, uh, does that do something magical for you? A little bit. There we go. And this is the kind of stuff. I mean, this is where on the one hand you can beat a logo to death. Yeah. Real fast. And on the other hand, this, these are the kind of details that you need fresh eyes to look at before you ship something off to press. Um, okay. Really, really small fix. I don't know if I'd call it a fix. Um, just small changes, small, just nudging and and kind of like working with clay, right? Just trying to get the look right. Right. So do you even notice that? Like if these two are sitting side by side, what we did there, these two are the ones we're looking at. I mean, do you even notice? You no, know, I, I, I can because I'm with my military background. Um, we had to look at the spacing between like the seam of a pocket and the bottom oh, of your man. ribbons. 
Wow. And it was exactly one eighth of an inch. And you, you could train your eyes to see uh, the variance of a 32nd of an inch. Oh my so goodness. for me, looking at the, the top alignment of the take command letters with the right logo, it's like the top of my, of the G is like leaning forward and just leaning into the future here. Uh, uh, and so we've kind of flattened out everybody, but it still has that forward momentum. And then the little hook on the end. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so you, what I'm hearing you say is you like this one. You like the direction. I do. It. Okay. I do. Yeah. yeah. And so then uh, this feels to, pretty close. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I want to just riff real quick for everybody that's watching. You know, we have a unique relationship where I get to look over your shoulder along with everybody around the world. Uh, thank you all so much for joining Derek <laughs> as he's doing this. Uh, and so that's atypical. But what you're talking about with like those fine details uh, and, and that balance point for the time, right? That's that's part of what we talk yeah. about it on yeah. Moto Monday. Uh, but this is what where you really start to stand out as that graphic designer is by taking that time to have that nuance because it might not be something that they can like really see with their eyes, but they more feel it right. with their eyes, you right. know? Yeah. So I, I love that you have that kind of detail. And for anybody that's watching as a, as a client, I'm not going to be really prescriptive in my request for a logo development that I want nitnoy detail. I want high attention to detail, Derek. No, no, no. That's like <laughs> because of his reputation and it preceding him, uh, I can say that he's a, you set him on a project and it's going to be done with impeccability. So I, I love that you mentioned that uh, and ties into like our, our Monday show. Yeah. Right. I, I've been plugging it all night. So <clears throat> I, yeah, I dropped a couple of Easter eggs for you too. As I was streaming, I was like, Paul, if you're watching this, I expect a phone call, like all the different stuff. <laughs> I almost called you cause you weren't looking at your text messages, but I, I decided to um, harass Jenna instead. I'm glad it worked out. <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right. So, uh, yeah, man. How much more time do you have? Oh, like 10 minutes or so, 20 minutes. I don't know. <laughs> How much more time do I'm I have? I'm going to catch a second wind, question, question. right? Yeah. Half, half hour -ish. I'm just checking with the boss here. Um, <laughs> can, I, can I stay up just a little just bit a longer little bit later, please? please? Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. So I, I love how this is turning out. There was like this high pressure. I was psyching really myself good. out, um, getting into it. Cause I was like, uh, like I just, you know, you want it to be good. Right. And trying right. to figure out when you're doing a text logo, you're working with shapes. What's up Austin Webb. Late hey, night Austin live show. Uh, thanks for jumping in, man. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to get us caught up on real time. Uh, so that way Val can weigh in and tell me what she thinks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe. I don't know if I'm going to be able to jump watch in. it. Yeah. That's, yeah. When you guys are designing a logo, you got to make sure that the uh, significant others approve, right? <laughs> oh, I make no decisions <laughs> for my brand. Uh, she has been with me from like when I still, still put on like hair goop. Uh -huh. uh, and I would unbutton too many buttons for my live cast. <laughs> she stuck by me through that. Oh, no. <clears throat> Help me navigate that that's fashion awesome. faux pas. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Um, there you go, babe. You can see it now. We're, we're live on there. We're live. Uh, yeah. Is she going to jump in here and say hi? Or is she going to be all shy about it? I don't know. He, he's encouraging you to jump in and say hi if you want. She, she might, <laughs> she, she might, she might come in like with a, a paper bag over her face or something. Should I put it just full screen? <laughs> no, cause I, I switched the camera to the e-cam setting. So that way it's cropped in a little bit better. Oh, good. So yeah. Nice. Uh, hey, Austin, I'm doing really well. Thanks so much, man. Yeah, yeah. Cool. All right. Well, so let's go. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna jump back into it. I was in a flow here. And I know, and then I just like threw a wrench in it. Do you threw, want me to go? No, dude. I'm so pumped you're here. All I wanted to okay. do now. Um, so we did the one. It's it's easy. I'm gonna do this real quick. I'm gonna draw a line around it. Um, Shift X. All I'm doing right now, I bring my tools back, is making a note of which one I made the changes to. Uh, so that way, when I do stuff, 
I know which one's grounded. Okay, so what I was what I was gonna do was just go backwards because I kind of jumped right into color, and then you came on. But basically, uh, I would I would work outside of color to get the shape right. That stuff that we just did, where we're like, okay, does it feel right? Does it look right? Does it is it balanced? Is it is it grounded? Is it have the right spacing? I would do all that in black and white first, uh, because if you don't literally those are the mistakes you make is you you start letting color be a crutch all right yeah and, and you just start getting fixated on the the wrong things to move yeah. the project forward and that's where you start losing time exactly yep so um let's let's take a look at this again I really love how you got the the pen stroke. I was I was really trying to have a good some, lift with the marker. So that yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh yeah, no, I like how it turned out. We could do I mean we could do so much with this. Let's okay, here's here's the kicker. Here's the test. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. You got do. two thumbs up from Val, so two thumbs up. All right. Um Say it again. I gotta pull something up real quick. bottom what's that she's casting her votes okay she was saying like the one on the bottom i literally just closed something that was going to make this go faster just every time um uh, i am looking for the stuff that i sent to austin which is in this folder what am i looking for wow when the brain turns off, man, it just hits hard. Right? <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> Short circuit. And uh, we just threw a fuse. So we're calling it a night. Yeah, we're, laying, yeah, right, we're right, coming right, in hot, laying hard. Oh, it's because I put it on my server. I was moving files over to my server. I got a new NAS. I feel all excited about oh, it. Oh, Austin, thanks so much. This is... Uh, <laughs> I'm so happy. I've had a series of compliments on my video today. It keeps oh, coming yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. Why is that? Thanks so oh, much, Austin. Studio lighting. Yeah. 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 Really appreciate it. It's uh, a new camera and then one additional light. Uh, I got a Elgato ring light, um, but the new camera is what's really making the difference. Tell him, tell Austin what lens you grabbed. Oh gosh. So I don't, I don't have this stuff down quite like you do. Um, it is the Sigma uh -huh. 16 millimeter F 1.4 DCDN. And watch this auto focus. Just if I can. There we go. Boop. There you go. Oh, so so pretty. Thanks, Deco. I got a lot to smile about, man. I'm I'm so just. I'm happy to be alive. I love it. Uh, camera, yeah, the camera quality. Yep, absolutely. I, and then Derek helped me like with the audio. We've we're getting a real good setup going here. It's fun. It's been a lot of fun. I think I'm going to get some lights like you, except they're going to be like pink in the background. <laughs> I love it. Um, the purples and blues tend to play the nicest with the camera that I have. I'm not saying that yeah. you have to do. I'm just saying that's what it's kind of turned into because it just, I don't know, it just works for me. For I sure. Guess. All right. Um, so sorry, I was trying to get some things up that I couldn't quite show yet, but I was borrowing pieces. You're good. We can we can vamp yeah. and riff. We we vamp know how to do this. Riff. Yeah. Uh, Austin, it's a Sony A6100. I say Alpha because there's an A in there, but people are like you don't say it. you just say Sony A6100. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. <laughs> the, the A6100. Uh, and I didn't get the. The lens with that because this is only going to be my my video camera. Well, Dirk is telling me to go out and take some pictures with. Yeah, it dude, learn how to use go it. play with it. You're gonna learn how to use it. Yeah. yeah. All right. I think I can show what I'm doing now. I probably left something up. Let me just make sure I closed all my stuff. <laughs> no stream be... keys this time. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. No stream keys. You saw that. Luckily, it was an old stream yeah. key. Otherwise, oh, I had to shut the stream down and start over. Oh, well. I know. I know. I was like, yeah. oh, no. <laughs> well, it was. So I took a screenshot of it because it said it was having errors every time I went to go live. And I was like, what the heck? Yeah. 
Um, all right, so let's get back to work here. So we're gonna, we, we gotta put this to work here. Uh, image, trim, I'm gonna trim away the transparent pixels here. Uh, all right, let's bring that logo over. <coughs> In the spirit of jumping ahead, <laughs> Command C, copy that. Now we're back in Photoshop. Let's throw this in here. Oh, I'm going to like it. Dude, you could have your own Ray-Ban sunglass uh, brand here. You could do anything yeah. with this thing. I'm stoked. And and don't feel pressure. This is like, like you know when you like propose and you do it in front of like a stadium and you hope they say yes. Oh God, like, I haven't done that yet. But, uh, <laughs> so like this is how it feels. I feel like as far as uh, like, yeah. What do you think? You you like the logo? And then like we get offline, you're like, no, 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 no. I hate it. It's no trash. absolute crap. Garbage, <laughs> garbage. It's uh, terrible. Yeah. Uh, when I proposed, my wife said no. Actually, that doesn't I'm, surprise me. Well, part of it. Just <laughs> shut up. Does it surprise you? <laughs> Let me tell the story, jerk. Sorry. In her defense, I took her to watch the sunrise and it was five in the morning. And, uh, <laughs> did you have coffee for her at least? No, I didn't have coffee for her. I was untrained. Um, and, uh, I, I, so I made this really cool, like book thing and, and it was like photos of us and stuff we had done. And, and, uh, I'm showing it to her and in the last few pages. I'd cut a hole out and put the ring in it. So, so as she's getting to the end and I, I bought a pretty big ring. Like it was, she thought it was a cracker Jack box ring. And so she thought I was faking. And I was like, she's like, what am I found it. She's like, no, Put this on my thumb? no, she's like, no, <laughs> no way. And I was like, what? And she's like, no. And I was like, we, we talked about this. <laughs> then, and then she realized like I was serious and I'm like all down on a knee and, and she doesn't remember anything I said. I don't remember anything I said. Cause she was all like, no. Right. Right. Um, so dude, so funny. So bad. Uh, all right. I need, there's a lot faster ways to work. You guys, I'm obviously a little bit distracted here <laughs> having a good time. Uh, and I have this template made somewhere else, but you know what? We're just rolling with it. Um, so don't judge me too critically on my lack of my masking skills here. Cause whatever. <laughs> yeah. Fast mock-up. Yeah. Is this where the, are we talking uh far side of the moon yet? Are we going to talk about that? Yeah. We talk about that. Yeah. I would, I think on like a white sweatshirt like this, I don't know if I would ever wear one. Like I get this one dirty so fast. Oh but yeah. To have like the, the far side of the moon as like kind of a ghosted out backdrop. Yeah. Might look really good. All right. So. Yeah. The masking skills are strong with this one. <laughs> All right. Here's where it gets fun. We're going to bring in. Oh, satin emboss inner glow. No, get out of here. We're not doing any of that garbage. Oh. <laughs> Although we could. Um, all right. All right. <laughs> all right. So there's that. There's, there's a look. That's not. Let's just jump cut that. Let's group it. Let's yeah, that looks this. great, man. V1. All right, let's start colorizing some stuff. Let's bring in an adjustment layer. Uh, how do I want to do this? You sat with me Austin, there. Austin's already hooking us up with pre-sales here. He's like, I, I definitely, definitely want this. He definitely, uh, what did I do? I forget. On the white one, it is not is not we're gonna do it a different way we're gonna colorize it i have this mocked up somewhere to save time but i guess at least you guys can kind of see my thought process what color should we do uh Maybe. just do like a heather gray heather gray oh i even have one of those already you can just screenshot me and just like pull this one yeah um let me Hey, it's great to see you again, Austin. Thanks for thanks for popping over. Is he out of here? Uh, he's Instagram got, he's posts. Go yeah, you. Posts. <laughs> All right, man. Go take Catch care of the later. gram. Jump on Clubhouse real fast. Cool. All the all the things. All the things. Boy, that looks pretty slick, man. Thanks, man. So we go white and clean. We could go down a little bit, like a tone on tone. You go nice super subtle. stealth and make it a black sweatshirt with black. Black on black. Yeah. Boom. 
All right, so now let's add a background to this thing just to kind of get it over the finish line here for looks. Whoops. I need to set up an Izzy cam. An Izzy cam? What's Izzy he's, the dog uh, up to? IT. I think, I don't know. I want to send this to you because she's just like being ridiculously cute. Yeah. It's a little dark. A little dark. Now I'm just goofing around because it's fun. But uh, I could probably stop here. What's Izzy doing? Did you take a picture? Yeah. She's like sprawled out all weird and goofy. Here you go. I'm sending it over to you. Oh. It's what Luria did. She set up a set up a camera for her dog. I and love then it. She just has it going on the pre-show. I need a Glacier Park camera. Looking right? in the park from up Yeah. There. I'll do it. I'll do it. I will melt this computer. I will bring in so many video streams. <laughs> All right. Uh, I set the computer outside to keep it cool. You don't even need fans. Yeah, right. All right. Uh... No. Um, sorry. I'm. <laughs> I love this stuff. It's like you're telling jokes to yourself and we just don't get to hear any of it. And we just see your reaction. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're going to let us like look over your shoulder or not this, here. This is me filtering. Uh, yeah. Right. Okay. So what I'm doing. <laughs> you're like, no, you're not going to no, see this no, yet. I'm not going to see this garbage. Um, I like to make things look, make things look like they're kind of suspended. Um, instead of a drop shadow. How's your, uh, how's your Spanish buddy? Me? Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to take care of this translation for you. This translation? What? Is there a song that we're listening to? No. There's a comment. Oh. Oh. Uh, you don't speak Espanol, well, but I'm able to do branding and design, graphic design. But in this moment, I'm able to practice English and graphic design a little bit. Maybe? Did I catch that? Did you get all of that? I, and then no, no hablo inglés. I don't speak English. But I don't speak Spanish, but I, I like, like branding, branding <laughs> That's and design. Thought, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. No, I took a little bit of Spanish. Yeah, enough to. Well, and I can see like his uh, the Japanese writing says apuro, apuro. So maybe Apollo, especially with the the i the icon, clone Apollo. We're an eclectic eclectic bunch here. Yeah, I love it. Mitchell's garage, hanging out in Mitchell's garage. I almost went live from my garage, actually. I thought it would be fun to do. Is it heated? No, it's so cold. I mean, kind of. I've got this little space heater in there, but dude, it's it's five. How cold is it right now? It was five degrees out. I think it's warmed up a little bit. It's it's a little warmer out. It's it's currently it's twenty one degrees now, so it's almost just barely not freezing. Anyway, it's, well, I've got I've got my gym. Like I built a gym during COVID because it was like, what else am I going to do with my life? Right. Um, and so, I I tried to heat it. I've got these like two electric heaters, and then we got our electric bill. It was five hundred dollars. Oh yeah, <laughs> so much money. Uh, yeah. So needless yeah. to say, it's a cold garage again. Right. And, right. Uh, anyway. Yeah, you got to be very. Uh, specific for when you want to actually heat up your garage or not yeah yeah for real all right um i'm having fun with this it's not it's not quite right um i should find the other mock-up that i have but i like the idea of of where we're headed here uh it's fun it's fun oh and i haven't even saved this yet let's save this i'm gonna throw this under oh i'm gonna make you a new folder called apparel because I know how bad we want to get into that. Uh, I know for you. I'm so pumped. This is gonna be good. Fitted hat, new sweatshirt. I'm done uh, rocking other people's swag. Yeah, dude. I want to rock my own swag. Cool. Um, there's a look. I'm gonna I'm gonna come up for air here because I'm. Oh, nobody can see us either. No, no. I want to see. I want to see it. I want to see there it. There you go. There you go. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, it says it's very interesting in this direction think is what you're saying um so thank you this direct is very interesting yeah um google so let's see what should i do with this paul what are we going to do here i'll uh, save it why is it so dark is that see it's dark that's what i was kind of humming and hawing about because i was trying to do something cool oh. that's better 
contrast is good. That's more better. Okay, so that's there's an option. So that's better-ish. What I'm gonna do now is we are working in Photoshop. We have one file and groups of stuff happening over here. Uh, <laughs> no, the fun, dude, Deco, you can watch the replay, but thank you for being here. This is awesome. I guess you couldn't be part of our chat if you weren't skipping class right now. I support that. I support that. We're having a lot more fun here. I hope so. Bad, yeah. bad influence. Bad influence, so bad. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do now, uh, let's see. Okay, so all these shadows and stuff need to come into this group in the background. Wink. All right, so it's up here. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna right click on this and we're gonna say artboard from group. All right, I did that pretty fast, let's do it again. Don't forget, and I learned this line from my good friend, Paul Gowan, if I'm going too That's fast, cool. you can always click down below to speed me up or slow me down, except for if we're live. If we're live, you're stuck with me for the duration. But if it's a replay and I'm going too fast, you can slow me down. Yeah. If you're a pro and I'm going too slow, you can speed me up. All right, right. so what we're gonna do is I'm on this group. I'm gonna right click and I'm going to create an artboard from group. Boom, now it's an artboard. Now what I can do is a couple things. I can just click on this artboard layer here. It's just like a group. It just looks a little bit different. I hit Command J to jump cut this, and now I've got two of these things in the same file. Or I can come up here to the title and hold down the Option key and then click and drag another artboard, and my computer might not like it. It's a little upset about it, but I can throw it wherever I want. It doesn't have to be in the same spot. And I can change the size of this artboard. So I can click on this artboard title, and up here at the top, I can change the dimension. So if you're gonna build an email campaign and you need to be 600 pixels wide, and then you wanna post it on social media, and then you want to do something else with it. You can have everything in one file and bring all the assets back and forth. And then when it's all said and done, you want to share it, come over here to file, come down here to export, and then artboards to files. And you can spit all of these out at the different sizes. Super cool stuff. Um, so what we're going to do now is uh, I was just mostly showing you that um, because then I would go through and I could design multiple looks real fast. Uh, that's one way to work in, and, um, man, I could talk about this for hours, Paul. I need to rein this back in a little bit because uh, there's like a hundred other things I want to show just off of this one thing. Right. It's, <laughs> it's, we're going to put the brakes on. Yeah. You have this like <laughs> train of thought and then it comes yeah. to an intersection. And you're like, I can go yeah. 20 different ways with this. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. So, uh, where's my, there we go. In other events, we're not glitching. I was going to say, so you know what's interesting? I bumped up the feed tonight. So we went live on Moda Monday. I was broadcasting yeah. in 720. Um, yeah. Tonight I'm broadcasting in 1080, but I left the bit rate down to low bit rate and it seems yeah. to be holding stable. Okay. So that was a trick, man. I think we're on to something. Dude, I'm digging this look for you. I don't know about the yeah. North Carolina blue or not, but I think it's cool. I don't either, but I, I think we've got to prove a concept here. Yeah, for sure. If you want to delete an artboard, just click on it, delete, or come over here and click on it just like a folder. Come down here, hit the trash can, or hit delete. Lots of ways to delete it. Artboard on I, I do think that uh, we're going to need to get some sound effects every time we have a jump cut. You're like, Command you J so? to jump cut. I've got a stream deck with some open slots for it. We, we, There's a lot of things I should do. I might have to hire uh, an animator stream guy. First, we got to hire a DJ. A DJ, shh, that's true, Just that saying. is true. Just saying, all right, uh, green, wow, that's a bright green. But look at guys, look at how fast, once you throw a logo on a piece of apparel and give it some color, there you go, Val might like that one, I don't know. Yeah, Soft pink. I, what are you talking about? I'm the one that wears pink in this relationship. Yeah, this one's a little bit more of a pastel though. That is, that is, I like I'm, to go neon pink. You're like, you're like in this range. Wah! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. I'm going to save these. I'm going to, I'm going to let it breathe a little bit. We'll come back to this yeah. tomorrow and, uh, and see how you really feel about life. Right. Oh yeah. man, dude. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. Past your bedtime. Oh, this is great. Yeah. Way past my bedtime. Uh, but it's, it's been a solid, great day. Compliments awesome. from all these people about the new camera. Uh, yeah. And then to be able to Izzy. see this coming together. Yeah. This can, is great. Can I, can I show them Izzy? Or is this a... I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. yeah. Yeah, put her up there. That's why I sent it to you. Okay. Let's see if it's... It's being weird. 
It's gonna broadcast it. There's Izzy the dog chilling out. There she is. <laughs> one of her, one of her like twenty beds. That's so funny. Yeah, the couch, the entire couch. It's like my dog. Right, right. Dogs. Yeah. Yeah. So cool, Super man. Super cute. All right, guys, it's that time. I, I got to get to bed. Paul's got to get to bed. We're old. Yeah, way past our bedtime. We bed pay time. for it for days if you don't go to bed. Plus, I, I have kids. You've got a dog, Paul, that if we sleep in, we just can't. They wake us up. They don't let it happen. Not going to so, happen. Um, Thanks so much yeah. for working on this, buddy. Yeah, I'm stoked. I Actually, I'm really excited about where this is headed. Uh, even if yeah, it changes, really even great. if you hate it offline, I'm definitely going to post this in my portfolio. Just so you yeah, know. Because like, that's how I roll. Like, I'm a completely different person as soon as the camera goes off. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, I was more so giving you an out to be like, yeah, you know. No, I, I like, I think this is part of what your tribe gets to see. You know, you are going to be guiding and leading me in here. Here's some of these options. Here's your logo, be Paul. <laughs> Bush print. It's, it's not kind of that like tyrannical <laughs> approach. But, you know, like when, when you have some of these clients, they are not used to the graphic design process. They're not used to the logo and the mock-up design process. So this is where it's so important that you, as that graphic designer, have your process, you have your portfolio, you have your way yeah. that you reveal these different looks, you have your questions, you have your notes set up so you can understand exactly what they're looking for and getting that feedback. Uh, so yeah, this is this is fabulous. They, they get to see you leading me through that process as well. So I, I love all of this. Awesome, I'm stoked, man. This is beautiful. All right. Show me the pink one more time. Show me the pink, Show one, the more pink time. one more time. One more time. I'm already loving that. We just got to find a place that this guy, six foot three, uh, size. Pink I used sweatshirt. to wear pink. I don't know if I, I'd wear pink again. I wear pink. I mean, yeah. I don't wear pink. I haven't worn pink in years. Yeah. I like but wearing pink. I think last time I wore pink, I had hair. <laughs> 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 oh man. All right, guys, oh. I'm going to shut it down. Paul, thanks so much for jumping in and blessing us with your smiley face. Uh, so pumped to push us over the finish line. And then also, yeah. you know, once we make a decision, though, there's still a lot of work to do. We've got some apparel to bust out. We've got a website right. that needs some love. Uh, right. We've got new intro video animations to make now with your logo. You know, there's right. lots of ways yeah. to use this thing. So, yeah, um, we will probably real, real black light answer. You're my man. Absolutely. That's what I'm talking uh, about. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. So we'll, you guys stay, stay, stay uh, in touch, uh, like, and subscribe to this, this channel, wherever you're watching from. So you get notifications when I go live. And if you want to join my email newsletter, go to DerekMitchell.com. And Paul told me I need to move scroll my all sign the way up to the bottom. But currently, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll find it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Uh, I'm going to shut it down. Is there anything else, Paul? Uh, Moto Monday. Clone. Yes. Clone. Uh, you're asking for the, the review of that project for your grandmother. Come on Monday and have a have a link to your portfolio uh, because we have a Q&A period after the, the training for Moto Monday. And that's going to be a great opportunity for you to drop your portfolio link. Yeah. And we can take a look at it then. Yeah, for sure. All right, guys. Dude, uh, have a great night. All right, you too, guys. We'll, we'll see you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Paul, thanks for joining us. We yeah. will catch you all next time. Bye. All right, guys. Thanks for watching today. I uh, hope you learned a lot of valuable information, and I appreciate you sticking around to the very end. But before you go, just a couple things I want to oh, remind yeah, you. Here. The first is, if you haven't already, feel free to like this video if you can, depending on where you're watching from. Give it a thumbs up or subscribe or tap the bell or give it a follow if you can and uh, also maybe even just copy the link up in the browser and share it with a friend or post it to your facebook page i'd really appreciate that uh, but again just want to say thanks for uh, sticking around and i'd love to continue going live as much as possible and helping you guys out so the best way that i can help you is by you commenting on the videos below i read those comments i engage with them as soon as i can if i can when i see them so if it's live i'll try and answer you right away if this is a replay you can still comment on the video Video and uh, I go back and I read those. So I just wanted to say thanks again for watching and let me know what you're working on. I'd love to help you out and hopefully we will see you in the next live. And to be sure you don't miss it, like, like this video and subscribe and follow and do the things. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.